Hello, welcome back to Brando Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I will be showing you how to make like a multi-layered uh, PBR material and then baking it out as a single uh, material. So this is the result. So I have these uh, two materials, right? The the wood, the bamboo wood and the this granite stone. Um, it's It's been mixed here uh, using cycle shader and I just it's a it's a basic example but how do I bake it out so the secret here is using the Oscar art bake PBR so I already have it here bake PBR and this is something that you can <coughs> download and install from Oscar art so you just simply uh, download download this add-on and pick this file and just install it from here so I'm gonna show you the whole process actually from scratch. I, I'm just gonna be using Susan Head um, just for simplicity. You can easily kind of mix any kind of materials and it's actually a pretty simple process. So I'm gonna subdivide Suzanne, control three, shade smooth, file, save as. So Oscar, OSC, bake, PBR, demo. So I'm gonna need a uh, PBR material. So I will do that. Um, gonna show it to you. First, create a material for Suzanne, and we're gonna mix uh, a bunch of principal PSDF. So I have already have Node Wrangler set up, and Node Wrangler allows us to import uh, PBR material very very quickly. The shortcut is of course Control Shift T, Add Principal Texture Setup. So select select this Principal BSDF node, Control Shift T, and just go to your materials. I have already uh, my bamboo. Select all, hit A. It's gonna connect everything. Now we should have Suzanne with a, this bamboo material. Nice. Or oh, the Suzanne UV is not perfect. You can fix that yourself. And let's mix this using mix shader. Oh, I also have another. Uh, I need another principal BSDF for the other material. So Control Shift T while selecting that node. Let's pick our granite smooth. Gonna mix the two together, so this and this. So we have shader that's mixed together. So if uh, with my MacBook Pro, I'm able to use, I can see the mixing happening in real time only for two shader. If it's too many, it doesn't work. Let's use our frame uh, mask graph texture and just plug this into color ramp so if you if you just plug this into the factor it's kind of already mixing but you want it to be sharper so let's do it like that adjust the color ramp so we can see clearly okay so that's our two materials shaders mixing together. They are PBR, so we want to actually bake it out maybe for game engine or as um, AR USDZ. So this is nice. We're able to preview it in real time. If you really want it uh, to have like a manual way to brush it, you can also do a painting. Maybe I should demonstrate that a bit later. For now, it's uh, just going to be this procedural material. Now let's go into the baking process. It's actually super simple. Switch to cycles. By default, we have 128 samples. Maybe for now, just 10. Make it 10. And select our objects. You can actually have multiple objects that you can bake into a single texture atlas. If you enable the if you enable this selected to active since we have only a single object we turn it off 
and we turn on like we want to maybe bake the base color metallic roughness and normal oh you can also bake the alpha so that's really cool we don't have this kind of a uh, method from blender this should be part of blender i think so you can turn on png export as well so just hit bake tbr maps and we should get result very very quickly so i think it's already done so let me quickly check it I'm gonna export suzanne file export glb apply modifier and i'm gonna be baking this so let's take a look at this texture yeah i think it's it's already being baked just need to check it out it's jelly now we have a single shader material everything ready to be used here base color metallic png so roughness normal mm, okay cool so apparently for metallic we don't have much metallic because we don't use meta uh, met metallic material so we have our result pretty cool right so i can just quickly maybe if i want to bring in metal shader or met plastic metal so let's try doing it again bring in another material select principle bsdf control shift t get our materials frosted iron get this one so instead of Grey night. I'm gonna bring in this rusted metal. It's already working. So this time, instead of using this procedural masquerade texture, I'm gonna try to just paint manually. So it's a little bit like substance painter. So let's turn the because my computer is low. Uh, so let's uh, let's quickly do this. Create an image that's gonna be the mask for our two materials. I should have named it. Plug this into the factor. And we're gonna start painting on that. Um we want to be able to do this in real time so go to texture painting okay we are using that map let's just paint around these eyes it's just pretty messy but you can select some faces and don't forget to save this this mask so this is the untitled and I can also paint the nose the mouth okay okay cool image save as this is the bamboo metal mask great and we want to see the result ah, not seeing anything maybe we need to render it out yeah so it needs to be rendered out in this case that's okay cycles so we have this metal metal eye Suzanne 
with wood and we want to be able to bake it so select Suzanne once again and Oscar art bake PBR just baked oops okay interesting it's complaining about something maybe I just I just found a bug maybe I'm not sure select okay now it works it could be a bug I have to report it but for now let's export this out well it's comported I can just um, share it to my iPhone but I'm not going to do that just gonna save this one because I like it and we're gonna use the, the other material that we just picked okay. base color nice metallic roughness and finally the normal so this is all the result of the baking so Oscar uh, PBR Baker make it very simple normally you have to do this manually I have a feeling uh, the bamboo is a little bit too metallic I have a, just my feeling but This is uh, pretty cool to be able to do this. Okay, so now you know the process. Uh, hopefully you find this useful. I have a feeling that maybe we need to adjust the color. Uh, what do you call it? Filmic or things like that. Yeah, one of these, uh, the sampling of color management okay we might need to adjust this before baking so I just set it up to filmic okay very high contrast medium low let's try medium let's try high contrast it's looking much more realistic like that and I think that will have effects on the PBR. So let's delete all this. Bake it again. Bake it again. Uh, yeah, with the PNG. It's, there's also these options render sequence. That's really cool. You can actually render animated PBR. So, so that's the result. I wonder if this is different now. Yes, see slightly brighter with the base color. Mm. So that's metallic. Roughness. Slightly brighter. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe I need to adjust the normal result, but uh, I think it's pretty good. So you got the idea. So from from Blender, you bake it out into a single shader like that. So that's the whole process. So. Thanks again for Oscar Art to provide this baked PBR add-on. It's very, very useful. So hopefully now you understand how to do this. Um, it's super easy, super fun to do. And in fact, you can actually do the texture painting of that material in real time, right? 
hope I'm doing this correctly. So untitle. So I did save it. Okay, needs to be updated. Interesting. All right, so yeah, there you go. Thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.